Hi there. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of uninstalling DeepFreeze. Not really a video I want to do, but there's enough people asking the question that we figured a short video would probably be a good idea so you can kind of just step through the process with us and see how it goes. Now, if you're looking for instructions on how to crack deep freeze, get past the software or some other magic that'll do it if you've lost your password, I'm not doing that here. This video assumes that you have the install package for the software, you know the password, and you can get it off the system. If your software was installed by some random person who walked past you on the street and decided, hey, let's protect that computer with deep freeze, you're going to have to find another way to pull it off. Now, in some cases, the support team can help you out. Reach out to them at support at pharonix.com. Explain the situation. We'll see what we can do. But in general, without the password, you're kind of stuck. Anyway, the first step of getting a computer with deep freeze on it to uninstall is to get the computer into a thawed state. To do that, we click on the start in the notification area, and you'll see the deep freeze icon here. Now, this machine's already thawed, but if I needed to get it thawed, I just hold down shift and double click that icon, enter my password, and now I can select my options. Now, you want to select the option to boot thawed. If you're using a one time password, the option to boot thawed will be disabled. You have to select the option to boot thawed for a specific number of reboots. The trick is that you need to be able to see the little thought icon on the bear down here in the bottom of the system tray. Once you see that, we're good to go. Now, the second thing I'm going to need, number two, is my install package. In my case, my install package is on my server in a shared folder. Now, all I need to do to uninstall this manually on my machine, or if I'm running Deep Freeze Standard, is just double click on the installer. And now, I'm prompted to remove the software. It can't be removed through Add and Remove Programs. That's just something we do to kind of frustrate people who are looking at it from back in the day. Once I click on Install, this will now go through the process, remove the software from the computer, and when it reboots, we're gone. Now, if you're running Deep Freeze Standard, this is the way you do it. If you're running Deep Freeze Enterprise, however, there are other options. If you've got Deep Freeze Enterprise, what we can do is in our Enterprise console, you can go over to the machine, once it's thawed out, and you can select the option to uninstall it. That will leave behind the communications portion, which you can pull off otherwise, um, but that does give you the option to remove the software from the client machine and uh, get it into a permanently thawed state. Uh, so that, that's basically uninstallation in a nutshell. Um, if you're doing Deep Freeze Cloud, slightly different process, we'll do another video on that to show you how to do that. Um, but that'll cover you for Deep Freeze Enterprise right here. Uh, if you got any questions, you're having any problems, you're running into any errors, reach out to the support team. They'll help you out, uh, see what we can do to get you back up and running. Uh, if you've got any questions other than that, feel free to browse the other videos in the channel or, again, reach out and just let us know. Thanks for watching. You have a good one.